Thank you, Mr. President, members of the body. Senate Bill 1 is something that was brought to the attention of many people by the Secretary of State, Allison Grimes. Upon her travels, she found out that there were certain problems within the voting procedures for our military people and overseas support personnel. With this, we began to fashion a bill. Under the current system, there is a very slow mechanism that takes place. If a person is deployed, they have to request by certain methods, have it mailed to them, return. All the items are very slow in the way this is uh, enacted as it currently stands. Now with Senate Bill 1, we modernize the system to a great extent. First of all, you can request through electronic means, which includes the internet, a registration and voter application and a ballot. Upon receipt, the clerks are to return that within three days by the mechanism for which they received it by. And then upon the return of that, so there is a request, distribution of the ballot, and then a return of the executed ballot. The first two portions of this are done and can be done, which is not allowable now by electronic means. The third portion is where there's been quite a bit of discussion, and that is with the return being by an executed paper ballot, which is put inside of an unsigned ballot, then placed within a secondary ballot, and the individual sign with the appropriate identifiers and returning it either by mail or by FedEx or UPS. Now the Senate committee substitute changes one part that is in this because initially as drafted, there was the return by electronic means or internet. Several groups appeared primarily the County Clerks Association, and did not feel they could maintain the integrity of the ballot, nor the anonymity of the voters. Generally, I won't say that I'm uh, in conformity with Common Cause of Kentucky and the Common Cause group, but Mr. Belisle's approached the same thing. And then actually, during this process, a member's father approached us, who happens to be one of the uniform drafters, and said that the uniform drafters had concern on the electronic return. Therefore, the committee substitute was drafted to take care of that concern, plus do a few other things. If you would, Mr. President, would you have the clerk report Senate, Senate Committee Substitute 1 to Senate Bill 1? Clerk report Senate, Senate Committee Substitute 1 to Senate Bill 1. Senate Committee Substitute 1 to Senate Bill 1. Mr. President, from Clay. Mr. President, Senate Committee Substitute 1 does four things. One, it brings into conformity the fact of special called elections to the federal standard at 45 days. Secondly, under the Uniform Act, it talks about that a request is a two-year request for these applications and ballots to be sent. It is nothing that is definitive, but it is a suggestion based on the transient nature of individuals who are deployed, we felt it best to limit it to a one-year request, standing request. The other part, the fourth, third part, is that of the deadline for which the ballot is to be received. The uniform drafters do not set a specific date, but in conformity with what the clerks felt, that it needed to be in the possession of the clerk as it is required now, at six o'clock on the close of the election. And then the last part is what I have spoken of, is that the return still remains the same of being a papered ballot signed and executed in conformity with the law as it is now. The remainder of the bill stays the same. With that, I would move adoption of Senate Committee Substitute 1 to Senate Bill 1. 